Welcome to YourForeState.com's Medical Corner. I'm Angelique Gonzalez. Right now we're joined by Dr. Dan Michaels of the Reconstructive Foot and Ankle Institute, and he's our specialist on foot and ankle conditions. Nice to have you here, Dr. Michaels. Thank you, Angie. Our question for you is, what is metatarsalgia? Well, metatarsalgia is a term that describes forefoot pain. Uh, there are a lot of structures in the forefoot, and if you look at the, uh, the foot, um, there are five metatarsals, and any time you have pain in the forefoot, it could be caused by something called metatarsalgia. However, that's a very general term. Oftentimes, it can be caused by pain or inflammation of one of the structures in this area. If you look underneath the big toe, uh, there are two little sesamoid bones, and everybody has these. And their purpose is to distribute force along the big toe as that toe takes the majority of the pressure in the forefoot. However, sometimes these bones can fracture or they can become inflamed. Now, if you look at the second metatarsal, there are tendons underneath the bottom of each one of these toes. And the second is interesting in that the bone is very flat on the bottom and it compresses the tendons. So if there's any change in length or position of that bone, the second metatarsal, then that tendon can become inflamed and that tissue can become very painful. Uh, conversely, there are things that can occur in between the bones, such as nerves becoming inflamed, and those are neuromas. However, sometimes when one cannot uh, differentiate the exact cause of the forefoot pain and it can be somewhat diffuse. Metatarsalgia is a term used to describe that condition. Oftentimes, however, there is a structure that can be identified that is inflamed or, or pathologic in some way that is causing that pain and treatment can be dealt uh, to that spe specific object um, independently and the problem can be resolved with conservative treatments usually in the office. Now you just mentioned treatments. How is metatarsalgia treated? It depends on what actually the structure, which structure is actually causing the problem for the patient. Oftentimes, however, an orthotic device can be beneficial for the patient. This is a, a custom-made orthotic device which is designed to take the pressure off the forefoot or the area that's causing pain for the patient. For example, if the second metatarsal is causing a lot of pain, then we can put a pad on the bottom of the orthotic device to take the pressure off this bone. This treatment is not very difficult and it's pretty easy to explain to patients what's going on and how to treat it. Um, sometimes, like in this orthotic, there is a pad underneath the big toe and that can help sometimes uh, pathology or pain in the big toe area. And then finally, sometimes people put pads in the middle of the orthotic, which can take pressure off the central metatarsal area, which can decrease pain from an aroma. So a lot of the uh, treatment is dealt uh, with in the office. It's conservative. Oftentimes, uh, shoe inserts or braces can be used. Sometimes injections may need to be done. Uh, and then finally, if nothing else works, there are surgeries for all of these conditions. And most times with these surgeries, people can come in the same day, they can be awake for the surgery, and they can walk that day on the foot. All right, thanks so much, Dr. Michaels. Again, that was Dr. Dan Michaels of the Reconstructive Foot and Ankle Institute. And don't forget, you can ask your specialist questions on foot and ankle conditions only here on yourforestate.com.